What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp Essentials tutorial for you. So usually on Thursdays I do a extension tutorial, but I figured with SketchUp 2018 coming out, uh, it probably made sense for me to go ahead and talk about one of the new features um, in 2018, which is the new sectioning tools. So I figured I'd give a, an overview of some of the changes and what you can do with them. So before I get started, I do want to thank my two newest supporters on Patreon, and I apologize for my pronunciation. First of all, I want to thank Marcin Rosinski, and also Eric, and also to Eric. Eric, I apologize, I cannot pronounce your last name, but I really do appreciate your support. Um, as most of you know, Patreon is the uh, website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you guys like what I'm doing on this channel, you like uh, what I'm bringing to the table, please make sure to check that out. Um, any support that I receive there gets invested back into the show just to help uh, create better tutorials, that sort of thing. So uh, let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in this release, they really kind of overhauled the section cut tool. Um, um, as most of you know, you can use the section cut tool in order to create a cut through your model. That's what you use to create things like drawings and layout and other things like that. And so they really changed that and added some new functionality. So uh, let's just kind of walk through some of the basics. So the first thing that you'll know as soon as you run the sectioning tool um, is when you add a section, it's going to allow you to name your section plane, which is something you couldn't do before. So you can name this. So like for example, we could call this floor plan and we could give it a symbol of one and you can click place and what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to place your section cut and then you'll notice two things when you do that now the first is that your floor plan will show up or your um, section cut number will show up in your section cut. So now this section cut shows that this is section cut number one. So you can actually manage those by naming these, which before you just had a whole bunch of different section cuts and you just kind of had to guess at which one um, you had in your model. So not only that, you can also name these and manage them in the outliner. So like for example, you can come in here and you can rename your section plane. So if we wanted to just call this plan, we could do that. If you wanted to rename your symbol, you know, you can do up to three characters, I believe. So if you wanted to do PLN, that'll show up in here instead of uh, the name. So you can really use this to manage your different section cuts. And then also the other thing that you can do is you can also manage the cuts that you have in your model using the outliner. So like for example, if I wanted to do a kitchen elevation section plane, I could add that in here and I could either name it over here off to the side or I could also just call this C kitchen or KCN or something like that. Oops, I need to rename the symbol so I can do a KCN. So now you can see this is your kitchen elevation and you can move this back and forth. But now what you can do is you can actually manage your active cuts in the outliner. So you can take your plan option and make it the active cut over here, or you can take your kitchen cut and make it the active cut. So you can switch back and forth between your different cuts um, using the outliner now, which is a really new function. I, th I think it's great because um, before you just kind of had to go through and just like generally find these. And um, if you had a whole bunch of them in here, it just got really difficult to manage. Well, now it's a lot easier to do that. So, and then the next thing that I want to talk about is not only can you manage those section cuts, now you can also give these a fill. So one, one of the things that we've talked about a whole bunch in our layout videos was trying to create the fill inside your walls for when you take everything to layout. So if you did like a top down view, for example, and we'll turn perspective off so if you wanted to do a top-down view and you wanted the inside of your walls to be shaded a darker color or something like that um, it was really difficult to do um, you really had to do a whole bunch of workarounds you had to either paint the back sides of your walls or do some other things in order to create that well now you can use these in order to or you can use these to create like filled in walls and so the way that you do that is in your styles under the edit section 
in this last section, the modeling settings, um, they've got some different options in here for section fills and section lines. So let's talk about the fills first. So the section fill in your model is going to be, or this little box right here is gonna be the color of the fill. And if you look down here below, you can see that there's three options in here. There's section planes, so you can turn the actual planes off. That's not new. Um, there's the cuts, which is not new, but then there's the section fill option. You can see how when I click the section fill option, what that does is that adds this fill inside your walls. So now you can add a dark color inside your walls. And not only that, you can also adjust that fill by clicking on this box right here. And you can drag this around, pick different colors. So now my fill can be like a blue, or if I wanted it to be a white, I can make it a white. So you can make your section fill different colors using this option. As of right now, you can't add um, like hatching or anything like that but you can change the colors now. And then the other thing you can do is if you look at these, um, what, what they've done is they've basically made it so you can also color up your, they've also made it so you can color up the lines on your section cuts. So now you can come in here and you can color your lines and you can also adjust the thickness. So they've added a style box to adjust the thickness of your lines. So you can use this to generate different line weights. So you can adjust those line weights so they're thin, so that they're thicker. So you can come in here and do adjustment of line weights now like you couldn't do before. And so what you could do with that is you could, if you used like a hidden line style in here and you wanted to create a floor plan, and let's say you wanted your section lines to be, let's keep our section lines black we can take our wall back to like a gray color or something like that. So now you can fill in those walls with that gray color and you can also adjust your line weights in here. But now you see you can import that image into layout and it'll come in with those line weights. And you'll still have to kind of um, deal with the scale a little bit. So in this case, this is probably a, we'll see if it's a three quarter inch. It's probably a little bit smaller than that maybe a half inch and you need to make sure you have this set to vector or hybrid because that's how it renders the line weights um, if you have it in here as a raster image it'll render your uh, textures and stuff but it won't render your line weights so you can see how now if I zoom in on this it's got my section cut lines in here thicker than the rest of the geometry in my model so this allows you a bunch of new options it's still not perfect uh, there still are some workarounds that you'll have to do to make everything work but overall I think this is a really good addition to the sectioning tools so I'm really excited about this I'm really excited to see what guys like uh, Michael Brightman and folks that really kind of push layout to the limits um, are able to do with it so that's kind of the overview of the new section tools in SketchUp. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this? Do you find it useful? Uh, is there some stuff you'd still like to see? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video video. Thanks guys.